Reject humanity. Become as monkey! So, you having trouble with this ass picking shit slinger? Yes, he does both of these things. First off, master the loop. Master the, uh. Oh. Yeah, remember my beginner's video where I said 80% of the bosses and enemies follow the combat loop? Meet a boss who's the remaining 20%. Well, let's understand something about these bosses and enemies. Anyone who's ever played a Souls game knows the concept of poise. Deal enough poise damage and the enemy will stagger. And for the monkey, he'll stagger a lot, leaving him vulnerable for some more hits. He actually has three stagger phases. Each one has less poise than the one before. You can see it here. I deal enough poise damage that he staggers. This is phase one, so I keep hitting him. You see that I stagger him again. This is now phase 2 stagger. So I keep attacking. Finally, phase 3 stagger, where he falls backwards and runs away. Look how much damage I was able to do. One more time. But let's say I couldn't capitalize on his stagger and he recovers. Don't worry, he's still in phase 1, oh, technically at least, and you just need to deal enough poise damage to knock him into phase 2. Keep in mind, the poise for that is significantly smaller than before. You want to capitalize on these stagger instances as much as possible. So the strategy. Get in one or two hits between the spam punish combos, then parry through the spam punish combos. Rinse and repeat. If, if your posture gets high enough, back up and let it drain. And if you knock him into stagger, Keep up the pressure and put him through his paces. Try to avoid sprinting. Your posture drains if your character isn't doing anything. So if the ape sprints away, give chase at a brisk jog. This will let your posture drain. And remember, if you hold block without blocking anything, your posture drains even faster. Also try to keep your health at max. Posture drain speed is directly tied to your health. If you don't like parrying, then keep distance and bait out his combos. Then swoop in and sneak in a few hits when it's over. Now, this is the direct approach, but it's a far cry from the easiest way. It's really easy to get the timing wrong for this guy. And sometimes it's hard to tell when there is and isn't an opening. There's gotta be a better way. Well, there is. Actually, there are several ways, so pick your poison. The easiest way is fire. Throw some oil on him, set him ablaze. Hit him while he's trying to put himself out. Then back up. Wait until the fire goes out. Then rinse and repeat. With oil, he'll go up in one go, and you can imbue your blade with your own flame if you have the chasing slice. There's also an exploit capitalizing on his stagger phases. First off, knock him into phase 2. Then land 2 hits. Wait until he recovers, then hit him again to knock him not into phase 3, but back into phase 1. Then continue hitting him until he goes into phase 2 again. Rinse and repeat. Do note, he'll actually be knocked into phase 1 twice when you do this. So look for the animation where he slams the ground, that means he's in phase 2. And you can take out his entire life bar like this. Just be wary of your timing for the final hit. Too early, and you knock him into phase 3. Too late, he just recovers. You want to time it so that he just finishes his recovery. Look how much damage I was able to do even when I messed up. So technically, I could end talking about this phase right here, since these two methods are broken. But let's say you want to save spirit emblems, or 
You want to fight him a different way. There's no glory in bullying a stupid monkey. For this, we turn to Praying Strikes and Praying Strikes Exorcism. This combat art is really good for the aforementioned 20%. It deals decent posture damage when it hits the opponent directly. And it's really easy to stagger someone. Observe me use it on this Taro Troop. I use it so often that he can't even get a swing off. This is me using it on the failed experiments in the Ashina Depths. Once again, I keep staggering them so they can't grab me. Like I said, it's really easy to stagger someone with this combat art. A bit too easy as it doesn't take much to knock him into phase 2 and you want to take advantage of phase 1. It should be noted that Praying Strikes has incredibly short range. It doesn't matter if you use it against the Axemen or the Taro Troop, but the Monkey, it means most of your attacks will miss. So the best way to remedy that is to either punch the butt, or wait for moments where his head gets really low. Observe the body when you punch it. It should flinch on impact. If it doesn't, that means you missed. Perform 5 Prank Strikes. 6 will send him into phase 1 and we don't want that. We want our sword to capitalize on the damage. So 5 Prank Strikes then 1 sword swing should be enough to stagger him. And because of how fast Prank Strikes is, you can sneak it into narrow openings. Alternatively, you can use 2 fully charged Prank Strikes Exorcism. Then the next sword hit should send him into stagger. Let's go over a few openings. He has too many combos and frankly they are too hard to describe, so I'll only cover the notable ones. I'll be covering these in relation to Praying Strikes, but you can just use your sword as well. If he falls over and begins thrashing on the ground, when he's done, you get a nice opening, and you can Praying Strike his face. If he does this combo, and ends with a slam, you can do Praying Strikes to his face again. If he chases you like this, run away, then double back around, letting you punch the butt. You can also use firecrackers, but I find that firecrackers are inferior to the flame vent. Flame vent deals damage over time, imbuing your sword with flame lets you do more damage with each hit, and the ape will punch the ground in front of him when he recovers. So if you use firecrackers, run to his butt. Alright, phase 2. Same deal, but much more straightforward. Land in one or two hits between his spam punishes, parry through the spam punish. There are a few things to note. There are two major openings for this guy. If you see him stand on his hindquarters like this, if you parry his slam attack, they'll topple over. Likewise, if you see him do this pose, you'll want to back up and parry through it. The reason is, if you parry his last hit in that combo, he'll topple over. And you need to back up because his aim with this one sucks. Okay, he's fallen over. Now what? Use a spear, stick it into a stump, and pull. This will deal a ton of posture and health damage. It can be any spear. It can be the base spear. Or it can be a cleave spear. Hit the prosthetic button once to stick it in him and hit it again to yank it out. Monkey also comes equipped with a terror screen. Don't wait for the kanji. When you see his severed head sucking up air while spewing out blood, run. Or you can open your umbrella. Don't worry, you're not indoors. It doesn't even have to be the lilac umbrella. Even the base umbrella can block the screen. 
He even has this mini stream he'll use once in the blue moon. It doesn't have the same telegraph as his normal stream, but it doesn't hit as hard either, and has a smaller radius, and doesn't last very long. So you see the kanji pop up randomly like this. It's just his mini stream coming. You'll have enough time to run away. Alright, let's put it together. <laughs> 